Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your hosts, Ricky and Steph. What up, what up, what up? And today on Movie Social, we're going to be doing a spoiler review for the movie Monster Hunters, based off the video game of the same title. But before we actually get into that review, if you like what we're doing on this channel with these reviews for movies, TV shows, video games, and anime, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the channel video with your family and friends. And so Monster Hunter is right now is available to rent or purchase. And for renting it, it's what, $5.99 for the 4K edition. And the other ones you can get. It was in theaters, what, towards the end of last year. Mm -hmm. But you know, of course, with the pandemic, one, a lot of theaters weren't open. Two, people, a lot of people probably didn't feel safe going to theaters. All that good stuff. But you now you get to watch it at home. So breaking it down. Before we actually break it down, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Did this break the mode of video games movies sucking? For a lot of people, yes. For me, I have not fully played the game enough. I, I've maybe played two seconds at the most of the game completely. We'll probably play, play some more of it soon, but yeah. It wasn't bad. Sonic wasn't bad either. Okay. So, it, I think it's always hit and miss. It depends on what the video game was and what because Resident Evil for the first like two movies it was good mm -hmm. and then the other ones they just kind of started reaching farther and further from the game okay understandable I mean so this wasn't bad it wasn't bad I mean I will say though it gave me too many Resident Evil vibes maybe because of uh, our star yeah you know what also to me we had this conversation before we had, like once we finished watching it it almost killed the movie. Yes, the ending for a moment looked like it was about to be horrible. This movie was about to start going downward. But it redeemed itself. Yes, it did. Because I was about to be like, is that... I really was like, is this how this is going to end? Listen, I would rather have that at the end of Game of Thrones than what we got at Game of Thrones with the dragon. Because ah. this dragon fight was phenomenal. No, no, no. So that's what I'm saying. So like, we got the dragon fight at the end, but... Like, at that point where... Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, it was about to go to that bad point, but then... It definitely redeemed be itself. dragons. It definitely redeemed Draconis. itself. Because... If... The movie was good. You know what I would have liked? A little bit better. I would have liked T.I. not to have been in this to begin with. I'm not going to talk about that. What I would have liked is if her team... Because yeah, if we read, so when we Yeah, when we read the synopsis, it sounded like... Her team, they were going to be like a team thing, you know? Well, it became a team, all right. This is not her team. Exactly. And the thing is, you've seen <laughs> that team at the, like, it was only in a movie for, what, three to five minutes? Yeah, I thought the movie was going to be over 10 minutes in, honestly. Because yeah, everybody it definitely about did to feel that way. It definitely felt like the movie was about to be over. And, I mean, for some people that don't like spiders, to, that beginning might be rough for you, especially for T.I.'s part. Bruh, listen. Everybody who's watched this channel knows that I'm not a, I have arachnophobia. I'm not even gonna say that in line. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna just give it to you and just let you know how it is. So he got bit by a spider, or by one of these creatures that were spider-like, and he was like, um, "My chest is hurting and I can't feel one of my arms." So they just was trying to hurry up and rescue him, right? And then out of nowhere. His shirt, some way, somehow, his shirt got removed, or he pulled his shirt up, and he was these pus pockets, and the pus pockets started to bust, and spiders started to come out the pus pockets. Uh, um, as somebody who doesn't like spiders, you can only imagine yeah. my face during that time. That was absolutely Hilarious. disgusting. Sadly, though, the whole team, but the one, the captain. Just dies in the, at that point because they survive the first initial attack well, and then die from eh, the spider attack. Two people get killed from the rip. I'm talking about most most of the team yeah. survives the initial attack. Yes, but the initial attack they were stupid. They had an RPG and didn't try to fire until the end and get attacked. That part I did not like. Like, come on, you're supposed to be military trained. I understand you're facing something you've never seen before. But you wait till the last second to try and use a RPG. True. 
this definitely had what other movies this could remind you of mm-hmm. Pacific Rim yeah I think with the way. creatures definitely felt like Pacific Rim um, Man, I'm gonna even say eight legged freaks <laughs> and arachnophobia do you remember Star Space Troopers yeah with the bugs and stuff like that mm-hmm. it kind of had those vibes when it was fighting the spiders I mean it's got some references with a lot of other movies but with the way things started happening towards the end, it picked up in a way. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, you can even throw in Jurassic Park into this. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, definitely Jurassic Park vibes, too. But I got a feeling there should be a sequel coming out. With the way they ended it, yes. Now, here you go. If there were no, If there was no COVID... Would you have preferred to watch it in theaters or how we just watched it? I mean, I would have gone to see it in theaters just because, I mean, we would have had the AMC A-list, so it wouldn't have been enough to go see it in theaters. But watching it in theaters, who knows? I probably wouldn't have liked it as much. But then again, I might have liked it a little more because, you know, when you watch it in theaters, you get this certain experience, especially with that, so with the sound surrounding you in that way. That only in theaters you can get it unless you're spending twenty five hundred dollars, well twenty five thousand dollars on the entertainment system, which I don't have that here. I mean, hey, listen to me. I, I would have just preferred to watch it the way we just watched it. I, I probably feel the same way about. It. I mean, granted, you definitely get that, like when when the monsters are like doing their little yell and making the noise. You do you definitely get more of that, but it it was okay. I mean, it wasn't the best. It could have been better, mm-hmm. but you get a little bit of a different experience in theaters versus at home. Oh, of course, so of course, of course. That that adds a little bit more to it. But for me, what I would I personally say that did this break the movie uh, game adaptations to movies? No, to me, no. It, it's it, it was it was just okay. It was mediocre. It wasn't like oh my god, this is absolutely great. They did the game justice. Nah, eh. I mean, it's always been hit and miss. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely. Look at Battleship. You turn a board game into a movie that just. I heard that was like I didn't watch it. I just heard that it was absolute garbage. It really flopped. See, there we go. I mean, the first Street Fighter back in the day. I I don't know how old or young some of my reviews are. Street Fighter back in the day was trash. I mean, Mortal Kombat, the, the original one. Don't what? you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare. Boy. It wasn't trash, but did it do the justice of the video game? No. No, but it was a classic. That's what I'm trying to say, The though. second it one did was not... Garbo. The second the what? one was garbage. The what? Uh, that don't exist in my book at all. <laughs> the second one was absolutely... That, that doesn't now, exist. Now, it was only one so far that ever one. came out of my yeah, book. Now they're making a second one? No, they're making it. They're redoing the whole franchise, and yes, I cannot wait till April. Now that we are, that is going to be seen in theaters. I don't care, COVID, no COVID, theaters only, because I got to watch that on a big giant screen, something bigger than a fifty-five or sixty-five inch TV. Well, you just go ahead and buy yourself a projector, kind sir. No, <laughs> nope. It's I, the want South it in, I want to watch that in that nice theater. And enjoy my snacks while I'm watching Sub Zero take on Scorpion for the 50 million, 50 million time with a whole new adaptation now, and it's rated R. So, yeah, if the fact that it's rated R, I think this would be absolutely good, man. Hopefully, that... I think this was rated R too. I, I believe Monster Hunter was rated R. I think I'm not. I'm just, so here's so I the thing. Check. So here's the thing. Right. If so, though, they could have used a little bit more. Uh, Thank you. Gore. If it was rated R, they missed it. They missed the mark. Because I feel like it could have been so much more gruesome if it was. And rated you R. know, that's one of the problems I think with these video game adaptations. For if it's a video game that's rated for mature and has a lot of gore and blood in it, they cut some. They cut a lot of that out a lot of times. So basically, what movies. you're saying is, if the if the game is rated M, the movie should be rated R. Always, yes. It, that makes sense. That makes sense. But yeah, hopefully, to me, when um, Mortal Kombat comes out, it breaks the mold for uh, video game adaptations into movies being great. Well, I mean, the trailers look good, so... Yeah, the trailers do, do look good, for sure. For sure. We shall see. We shall. But what do you think of Monster Hunter, if you've watched it? 
and play the video game. What are your thoughts and opinions on it? Uh, do you like this movie? Do you hope they make a second one? Or do you think they should have just never tried to begin with? Let us know. Until next time.